Beneath the Mediterranean Sea lies a lost city of the Roman Empire, once known for its opulence and its scandals before it disappeared below the waves. This is the city of Baia. The city of Baia is just west of Naples, Italy, a small town today, but a large Roman city once stood here and then vanished beneath the sea. Baia was no ordinary city. It was a beach resort. Nearby volcanoes created natural hot springs that provided hot water for baths and steam for saunas. Baia was famous for its hot springs and notorious for its hedonistic offerings. From the 100s BCE to the 400s CE, it was the place where emperors and the Roman elite went to vacation, bathe, and indulge themselves to excess. Writings from the time called Baia a vortex of luxury and a harbor of vice. On land, the remains of a public bath complex still survive. This was the place to be with emperors such as Julius Caesar, Augustus, Nero, Claudius, and many more having their private villas here. The ruins are an impressive sight today and even still have an intact concrete dome, once the largest in the world, that covered a cold bath. The real mystery of Baia lies off the coast, where the city appears to end and the modern port begins. Sometime in the 400 CE, Baia began sinking due to seismic activity underwater caused by nearby volcanoes. With the fall of the Roman Empire and raids by barbarians, Baia was mostly forgotten and left to the sea. To see these submerged ruins, it's necessary to explore the site with a licensed dive operator to ensure the longevity of the site. So we are diving with Subaya Dive Center. We head just a short way from the harbor to where the Grand Imperial Villas once stood. Sand covers much of the site and there's not much to see. Then our dive guide begins brushing away the sand and a Roman mosaic emerges. This was once the floor in a grand villa that stood here. The rest of the villa starts to come into view. Parts of walls, columns, and tile floors. At the center of the villa is a courtyard that once had a fountain in it. These pieces of marble are part of the fountain base. Fountains like this were a popular part of Roman villas, such as these fountains from Pompeii. The guide begins clearing away another area and more mosaics start to emerge. This black and white pattern covers the entire room. This mosaic is 2,000 years old, but its artistic detail is still preserved. Before we leave, the guide covers the mosaic back up to protect it and keep algae from growing on it. The fish love this part of the dive as the bottom sediment is turned over and they can hunt for food. Next, the guide points out a row of rooms that have their marble thresholds still in place. You can make out the divot where the door would swing open. This villa has rooms with imported red marble floors of the highest quality that were reserved for the ultra-wealthy and the emperors of Rome. The guide then points out the base of two columns that once formed an archway here. it would have looked much like this one from Pompeii.
Next stop is a sauna. Here, the floor would have sat on top of supports so that steam would have heated the floor before entering the room. The dive guide demonstrates that one of the stones that remains has holes that steam would have flowed up through. Next to the sauna is a room with an amazing mosaic depicting two boxers mid-fight. Despite their age, you can still make out the details on the fighters' faces. We next head to a large villa that stood slightly closer to shore. To reach the villa, we head down a road, the Via Herculania. The road is incredibly intact and is an easy landmark to follow. This villa was owned by Emperor Claudius, and one of the most amazing artifacts of Baia was discovered here. In an infam, six statues standing in their original places. The originals were removed for conservation in a nearby museum, but identical replicas were placed underwater to show where the originals stood. They depict the god Bacchus, heroes from the Odyssey, as well as members of Claudius's family. This room was meant only for the most important guests to the emperor. The excavations of Baia are ongoing, and our guide points out one of the latest finds, a nautical mosaic of a fish. This is part of a much larger floor mosaic, but this fish is all that has been restored so far. This mosaic seems quite at home underwater, but it might not be for too much longer. The volcano that sunk Baia is starting to lift it up again. In the nearby town of Bazuli, you can see this happening at the Temple of Serapsis. You can see the water line where it used to be underwater, but is now high and dry. At this rate, Baia could be back on dry land again in a hundred years or so. The submerged ruins of Baia are an amazing and unique dive that give a look into a hidden side of ancient Roman life. Thanks to Sub Baia for taking us on this amazing adventure, and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more underwater adventures.